What is up, Idol Ninjas? It's Aaron here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my knock settings. I've been getting a lot of questions about what are my knock settings and um, how do I optimize it for Idol Ninjas Online. First, I'm um, just going to open up an emulator and go to the settings. So if you actually look inside of the settings, I actually set this to um, custom. I do six cores because my processors are at six cores. If you have four cores for your processor, choose four. Um, for my memory, I usually go about half of my memory. Uh, I'm running a lot of memory on my computer. I noticed Knox doesn't recognize anything above 16 gigabytes. So if you have 16 gigabytes, then just put eight. Uh, remember, 1024 megabytes equals one gigabyte. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put 15 gigs in here. So it'll be 15 through six zero. I actually changed this to mobile phone. I set my resolution the same to my desktop. Um, under gaming, I don't touch anything here. I go to device. I actually set this to the Asus ROG 2. Um, display, I don't touch anything from here. Um, I do like to change my cursor. So I change my cursor so it's easier for me to see. Um, under general, you don't really, you just click root because we'll need to root it for the next step. And yep, everything else is the same. So we'll go ahead and save this. So now we'll go ahead and launch the new, um, the Nox player basically. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go to the Play Store. We're gonna get Nova Launcher. And we're gonna install it. So now that's installed, we're also gonna get a, a Root Explorer. Right, so we're gonna set Nova Launcher as the default and we're gonna push always. And we're gonna do, um, I'm just gonna click use defaults. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up root browser. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grant super user access for this. All right, first we're gonna go to system. We're gonna go to app and we are gonna look for launcher and we're gonna select that and we're gonna delete it. So this is the old um, launcher for Knox and it's pretty much crap. So we're gonna delete that. So if it keeps doing this pop up right here, you can actually just restart your um, Android or your emulator and it will go away. Let's go back into our um, Explorer. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna go back to um, data app. I'm gonna find this, open it. We're gonna copy this. And the copy is a little square button right here. Got that. And we'll slide back over, go back to the root directory. I will go back to system. I have to watch another ad just because this is a, a free one. And then we'll go to app. And then we'll go back to that launcher folder. Now we'll press this little button and we'll paste it. So now we're done, we just replaced the AP, uh, the launcher into this folder right here. So I'll load this one. And we can go back out and I actually go into the Facebook and I delete it. All right, so the reason why I use a different launcher besides the one that comes in with Knox is because it, it's very um, loaded with ads and all kinds of other crap that I don't like. So I just go ahead and add the new launcher. I delete the Facebook app. What I also do is I go to app data, uh, local Knox loading, and then in here, I will open this up. And normally there's stuff text here. I delete everything out of it. And then once I do that, I'll go into um, this. I'll right click it. I go to properties and I'll make it a read only file. So that way, Knox can't do anything to it and I pretty much do that for every single ad file in here and basically this makes the ads on the loading screen of not All right what I also do is I also edit my um one of my system files because Knox likes to do a bunch of like advertising and stuff like that so this step is actually optional you don't have to do if you don't want to what I do is I go to my windows windows folder system 32 and then I go in my drivers folder and then I go into etc now I open up my host file and Basically, uh, when you open it up, you'll be, you won't have any of this right here. And basically, I add all these links right here that blocks it, basically. And this basically blocks um, Knox from being able to open up any of these websites for your computer to be actually open up any of these. And yeah, so when you add all these, it's, it helps out a bit. I've noticed quite a bit uh, difference in this, in my Knox and how it runs. Um, the only bad thing about doing this part is if you need to update your Knox, you got to delete all this. And then you'll basically just save it. And that is pretty much how I set up my Knox. And as far as I can see, it makes um, I Don't Ninja Online run a lot smoother. If you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Um, I will have a link, I guess, to all those websites that I added in my Knox file. Until the next video, see ya.